Some of the largest banks in the world use this strategy. Now in today's video, I want to talk about and explain why I don't get anywhere near it. Hey, hey, hey. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Patrick Kenny. For new around here, what we do is we talk about how to make money, how to trade, and how to make better financial decisions at home. And on today's video, I wanna talk about the Martingale strategy, doubling down, if you will, on your Forex account. And so first things first, I wanna to explain to you that this can work, but you have to have extremely deep pockets to make this work. Hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars are needed in order to make this system work. However, I have people ask me all the time if it works. And I wanna to explain to you today why it's difficult to make it work. So first things first, people like to call this martingale. And this is very commonly used in expert advisors and Forex robots, algorithms, softwares that trade for you. And in a nutshell, what it is, is when a market is dropping, and pulling back and dropping, and pulling back and dropping, what is happening is the algorithm or the person is entering in the market. Say they buy it right here with $1. They buy it. Then the market drops against them again. They buy it, but this time with $2. And the market comes up, they're making a little bit of profit. Maybe they close out, maybe they don't. It drops again. They buy it, but this time it's with $4. The market continues to do this cycle, it drops again, and when it drops, they enter for, say, $8. And now they have four different positions open for a total of $8, $12, $14, $15 dollars when they started with just one. Well, at that time, maybe the market rallies. All those positions become profitable, and they make money on all of them. Now, from a glance, does this look like a good trading strategy? It might. You know, think about it in this way. This is like people that enjoy gambling. They think to themselves, well, I could just double my bets on black on the roulette table every single time. I could put 10 down, then 20, then 40, then 80, and so on and so forth. In this case, why does this become dangerous? Well, it becomes dangerous when the market drops quickly. Because in these drops, these systems, $2, $4, Eight dollars, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four. It's becoming an issue. You see that? Because your account now has a hundred dollars or so invested, if not a little bit more. And what's happening is every single time the market drops, and it keeps dropping, and it keeps dropping, you're running into a situation where you keep entering your account starts getting smaller. Suddenly you have no more money at the bottom. So think about it, you've entered here, here, you're out of money. If you're out of money, you can't hedge your bets. You can't bet larger down here. Since you can't hedge your bets, the market could keep going or it could reverse, it doesn't matter. You have no more money down here. Anything down here is losing you money until you get back up to that entry line. And if you're not getting back up to that entry line, if that market just keeps going, what's gonna happen? Think about it this way. Right now in the real world, the Dow has been at all time highs. It has continually gone up and up and up and up. And I can tell you hundreds of times people have come to me and said, Patrick, when do you think it's reversing? Patrick, do you think it's reversing soon? Every single little blip. I want you to think of it that way. What if a person was using this sort of strategy, shorting the Dow? We're just reversing this now. And he enters short, 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 short. You're betting that something is going to reverse in a trending market. Remember the saying, the trend is your friend. When the market is rallying, you better be buying with it. When the market is dropping, you better be shorting the market. We all have what's called falling knife syndrome. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit of story to wrap this video up. When I first started trading, anytime the market dropped, 
All I wanted to do was buy it. Any single time the market was rallying, all I wanted to do was short it, was sell it. The only thing I wasn't doing was going with the trend. That's why I always say, buy your dips and sell your rallies. And what that means is when you have a trending market to the upside, you want to buy your dips. The market's dipping right now in the highest market in the world right now, record highs, and the market is dipping. Buy your dips. If the market is dropping and dropping and dropping and suddenly it's rallying back up, sell your rallies. This is especially important in the foreign exchange. Because if you're selling your rallies in a company, I can see the argument, you don't want to do that. Say it's Apple dropping. Maybe you don't want to sell Apple. But when it's Forex trading and it's Euro against the dollar, that means that one currency is getting stronger and one currency is getting weaker. So you're never technically betting against something totally. And so you want to keep in mind the trend is your friend. That's why I don't like doubling down via the Martingale strategy. This can be used inside of many algorithms. There's so many softwares out there that do this for you. But I guarantee you that if you do not have a big enough account, this will not work for you. And long term, this is not a way to hedge your bets to make money in the foreign exchange. So I hope that this was very, very informational. If it was, click the like button. Let me know in the comment section if you want more of these. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button. And I will see you guys on the next video.